ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chase on two wheels back at Mountain Motorsports in Roswell for a first ride of this gorgeous 2021 MT-07. This is not a Mountain Motorsports bike. This is a Yamaha bike. We got this thing on loan for a little while. So thank you so much, Yamaha, because I have not gotten to ride an MT-07 in a decent chunk of time and the last time i did one of these it was an absolute giggle fest so i'm excited for today guys uh shout out to yamaha for the loan let's get this first ride going i want to go wheelie oh but first we gotta turn on in the chat or in the comments. All right guys, sound check done. Uh, sliders done. Now, we'll do a little wreck bike rebuild garage ad because we got an expensive camera car and I want to be able to show you guys what this thing's look like in third person. So, click that link down below to check out wreck bike rebuild to support the shenanigans that me and the guys get into and uh then we'll get the video started so guys this first start is brought to you by the wreck bike rebuild garage patreon page if you guys don't know we run a show called wreck bike rebuild garage where we take wreck motorcycles we take them into the shop we rebuild them and we turn them into the dream motorcycles you guys are looking at right here if you guys want to sign up you can do so for as little as five dollars and part of that patreon page is you get week ahead content you get other posts that we do only to that patreon page and you get to help us decide what stuff we do to each of the dream bikes to build them that top link down below will take you over to the page hope to see you guys there all right guys you made it you made it through everything bike is on uh make sure to hit that like button too because you guys know the more likes i get on this video the more wheelies i'll do if i can wheelie it hopefully i can all right guys 2021 yamaha mt07 the such a glorious motorcycle okay uh sitting on it i've got relatively bent knees i can flat foot it for sure weight wise i mean it's light but it's can i say the heavier side of light but i am low to the ground so i do feel like i've got a lot of power with the thing there's that stock exhaust that you guys do not like <laughs> uh there's a lot of criticism on the uh r7 video of uh of the exhaust of this little guy all right, everyone, let's get it going. Opportunity is here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take this thing out. All right, 2021, MT-07. <laughs> oh, Yamaha. It's the same. It still is good. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, we are here on the 2021 glorious Yamaha MT-07. Uh, we've got the CP2 pair. Hello, Mr. Officer. Nothing going on here. Uh, so, guys, we're here on the little twin MT-07, the brand new model, the new look. And uh, we're going to get this first ride going. So, you guys know we always like to start out with the body position and the uh, body position right now, it's a very typical naked. My back is uh, upright, the slightest leaned forward. I've got kind of draped arms down. Uh, handlebars are pretty close to me. 
got a little bit of room to scoot back if I want, if I wanted, you know, a little more straighter arms. But for me, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable up here. Uh, very comfortable body position right now. I feel like I have a lot of power on whatever I want to do on the bike, like, you know, control-wise. The seat, slightly firm. Uh, it's not really, it's not soft or anything like that, but I think it's that comfortable firm. I'm, I'm super happy with the seat right here. I am a little more critical of seats when I'm on a naked motorcycle because uh, I'm sure I've talked about it in first drives before. When you guys are on super sports, uh, the tendency of your body is to put a lot of weight on your handlebars and, and hold it with your tank. But when you're sitting upright on a naked, the seat turns out to be really important because you're, you are going to be putting more weight on the seat because of that upright body position. So uh, definitely... I definitely like to be more particular with the first ride seats on the upright naked. Legs are, so as far as my legs go, I, uh, I mean, they're comfortable as well. You know, slightly bent, that's, uh, but I, I would still consider that super comfortable. I don't know, like I'm 5'10", and I'm looking at where my legs are, and if my legs were up here, it, I would say you could probably be five. I don't know, six foot maybe, six foot to six foot two, depending on uh, you know how long your legs are. But if you get much higher than that, I think you're gonna your leg is gonna hit this little curve in the tank, and I think this bike might be a little too small for you. So for you bigger riders, I would uh, I would definitely recommend going and sitting on one of these. Now for me, five ten, I'm good. I feel it, I feel like I'm more like ideal size for this thing. But yeah, as you guys can see, the tank kind of flares out at the top, so you definitely don't want to be holding on to the tank, you know, that high up. That'd probably get uncomfortable. This will be a good opportunity to talk about the fact that we uh, we have no modes here on the MT-07. It's, uh, it's a pretty bare-bones motorcycle, you know, and, and I don't necessarily say that in a bad way. Uh, we've got no modes. We do have ABS. There's an ABS light there. There's no traction control on this bike. There's no IMU. Uh, the controls are relatively simple. As you guys can see, we've got uh, info switching up there. We've got brights, turn signals. We've got a horn, an off switch, and we got the uh, emergency lights, which is really nice to see. I love that all motorcycles seem to have those these days. Touching through the switches, let's see. Good click there. I like my clicks. Let's do the. Eh. I wish the blinkers had a little more uh, click when I clicked them over. It seems to have a little bit of a click when I'm pushing it in, but I would like to see a little more there. So yeah, I give like a solid pass to all the all the switches except for the blinker. I uh, I like to know that I I push the blinker button, and this one feels kind of mushy. So. Uh, in an ideal world, I have a little bit of a better blinker, but you know, I'm not, I'm not picky. Speaking of this, uh, since we're talking about the control area up here, might as well talk about the dash. You know, this dash isn't really that much different than my MT-10 dash, but because they have it black with white text, it does seem to look a lot better to me. I would love to have a tack like this on my MT-10 instead of the one that comes on it. The one that comes on the MT-10, and granted my MT-10 is a 2019, but it's just that kind of gray background with black text. Seems kind of old. It gives it an old vibe. Not really here for the old vibe. Uh, but as far as the way they display all the information here, I think it's pretty solid. There's a, an okay amount of information. I love the gear indicator uh, logo and stuff like that. I'm, I'm totally okay with this. Uh, I like what they've done here. It's uh, it's like, you know, we're, we're talking about an MT-07. We're not talking about one of Yamaha's higher-end bikes. They're not going to put the nicest stuff in here. But this is a really good way to make the bike feel more futuristic or more up-to-date and not have to really change that much. Because I'm, I'm assuming Yamaha didn't have to do much here. Like, uh, we have the color red over here and everything else is white. So it's not like it's full color or anything. I think Yamaha did a good job here. It's a good way to update something without really having to update something. Uh, so I'll give you a pass on that, Yamaha. But I, 
I do want to keep in mind, I got to keep that thing, and I try to remind you guys this when we're doing these first rides on, on motorcycles, I'm a more experienced rider, so I need to be first riding this as somebody that would be buying this. And uh, I don't think they're going to complain about that at all. This thing is a wheelie machine. It just, it's, if you're in second gear, at any point this thing will wheelie and that's just the that's just the life we live is this guy gonna get over no cool awesome yeah so uh, I rode this thing back to the shop from picking it up at Yamaha and I was wheelieing this out the door it is such a fun little bike that oh my gosh I, I, I just can't man this one is just as much fun as the old one was that I rode, though. I don't even know what year model it would have been at this point. This little parallel twin engine is so good. I love it so much. It is such a fun little peppy engine, and I love that they literally haven't changed it. Like, I remember when I first rode an MT-07 back in the day, I, uh, I think the MT-07 was one of the first, like, actual real, like, new world naked bikes that I rode, and I was giggling the whole, the whole time. As far as the in-town uh, engine response of this thing, I, I think it's so good. I think the way the power is delivered, the way the throttle feels, if you're riding in the city, it has got such a good amount of power. And honestly, this thing is making me excited for the R7 to ride it around town because if you can give the people their cool looking motorcycle in this kind of package, that is going to be so good in the industry. But back to the MT-07, throttle response, we're in fourth gear, just kind of like stuck behind slow people. The bike is super light if I need to move it around and, you know, get in and out of traffic. You know, here in the city and here on the streets, we don't have to worry about wind because we're not really not going to be going that fast. We are coming up on the highway, which is where the wind gets pretty bad. I am interested to see how this thing does on the highway. I just don't know if it has enough power to do, you know, highway speeds comfortably, the wind and all. We'll find that out in a second, but it may be just a great city bike. Shifting gears up and down throughout the rev range is feeling great. Uh, every time I click into a new gear, I'm getting that satisfying click that I love to get. Clutch is easy to pull in. Our brakes, uh, oh, we have an adjustable lever? Hell yeah, I'm down for that. I am super down for that. I will say I do love the balance of this motorcycle, so when I go from not going to going, I can easily just tuck my legs up before the bike even moves and get it balanced and get going. And because of that really smooth clutch, uh, and the lightness of the motorcycle, it's just got a really good balance. I'm I'm really here for that. And that's going to make it really easy to uh, ride for a new rider as well. Because you don't have this big heavy thing you got to deal with. And we got an opening, so let's, let's give it. All right, wind's already getting pretty gross. I've got that thing where I'm just holding on right now. The bike had some power. You know, it's about middle of the way. Like, the bike's still pushing me through. But the wind gets so bad in the, in the when you hit those triple digits. You're doing the thing where you're just holding on for dear life on the highway. Not ideal situation, but the cool thing about the MT line is they are super popular for Yamaha. And the more popular a bike is, the more aftermarket accessories are going to be made for it. I'm not really that upset with the power, to be honest, but the wind's pretty bad. I would be willing to guarantee that there is going to be an aftermarket windscreen made for this thing that'll help out. So I don't think a lot of people are going to be buying this for touring, but an aftermarket windscreen would help a lot. As you can see, we're going well above the speed limit, and that engine is pushing us along Honestly, the wind is going to be the determining factor for how fast you go. We have no wind, uh, no fairing up front at all, so tucking in is going to do jacked for us. Other than, you know, leaning over, you're more streamlined, so the wind's not pressing up on you as much. The wind's rough. Power's good, though. Power's totally adequate. I will say, 
the lightness of the bike, I, I do feel a little fragile here on the highway. You know, I was just leaning the bike over, staying in my own lane, and the wheel hit something. The bike just got unsettled a little bit, and uh, I could feel that lack of plantedness that the bike has. Granted, I feel like I'm going faster than most people are pro probably going to be going here on the highway. That's one of the things, that's one of the trade-offs. You know, you, you get a lighter bike, which is cool, but then you, uh, you lose some of that stability. And now it's not bad. I don't want you guys to think like this bike's not stable on the highway or anything like, you know, nothing's going down. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to try to enjoy this turn, see what this bike feels like over. But that truck is, bro, what is the white truck? Whatever. That stability doesn't super translate in leaning the bike over. Granted, I'm at a lower speed. I would have a want for a little more stability. Oh, a red light, you say. Hmm, my favorite, I say. Oh, there's that ABS kicking on. A little aggressive. The ABS is a wee bit aggressive, but hey, it worked. Probably gave it a little too much rear brake there. The cool thing about this bike is that the engine is glorious. This may be the easiest motorcycle to wheelie that I've ever driven or ridden. If you're in second gear and you just do the slightest pop of the clutch, the bike comes up and the way the power responds uh, makes it super simple to, uh, to wheelie this thing. I'm not good at wheelieing, you know, but super simple <laughs> it makes it I, I would argue that this is probably the best bike to learn to wheelie on now before we get too deep into wheeling and all that kind of stuff let me throw it over to my guys in the camera car what do y'all think about this mt07 you guys digging it 2021 yamaha mt07 uh serious naked bike vibes um i mean it's an intermediate kind of a 700 engine but I saw some of those wheelies that you were yoking up uh, when we started this thing. So I'm very excited to take this thing out on the street and uh, give it a good fair shake. But overall aesthetics, uh, absolutely. I love the, the naked bike feel. Um, Yamaha put a lot of work into this and it shows. I can start by saying I'm always a fan of Yamaha Team Racing Blue. Um, I super dig the new headlight on this thing. I wasn't a real big fan of the previous year's headlight design, but this one is stellar in my book. A um, little weird on the gas tank, the way that the intakes kind of are part of the gas tank shell. Uh, it, it makes it look a little, a little bit off to me on the profile, but besides that, it's a fantastic looking machine. It does everything you need it to do in an in inexpensive package. It's a great bike. All right, guys, that's our camera car spot. Thank you so much to Cardo for helping sponsor the show. But yeah, guys, the way this power comes on, it's very odd because it's very smooth, but it has a lot of power behind it. And that's, I think that's one of the things that makes it so nice for wheeling. When you're on a super sport and you have to just crank that throttle open, you do get a slightly more aggressive front wheel lift. But from what I've noticed, and maybe it's just because as me as a rider, I feel really confident with this engine and whatnot. I think that the power delivery just makes me really comfortable with popping the clutch, getting the wheel up. And then once the wheel is up, I can just modulate my throttle really easily because I'm not worried about any like high spots of power. Everything's pretty smooth. I am really surprised at how quick the bike is because typically with a smooth throttle you know you don't feel like you're going fast but you're going fast that's exactly what's happening here like i don't feel like oh my god my face is getting ripped off we we scoot around quick i think after riding this thing around i i i'd be willing to say this is probably the best bike i've ever ridden for like city riding you know what i mean just like being and stuff like this you can commute on commute on it if necessary but as far as riding around traffic it's super nice. If we want to do some dumb stuff, we're not going to because there's no openings for us. It is so simple to just, uh, you know, actuate a little bit of throttle and get going. A cool thing 
is that if you are a newer rider and that it you know maybe you're starting out on the mt07 and if you're starting out and you've never ridden before this bike's got a lot of power for, you know for somebody that's never ridden before the cool thing is you shift up a couple gears and you can just you know give it as much throttle as you want that's full throttle we're in sixth gear and it's going to take us a second to actually get going that's going to give a new rider plenty of opportunities to uh realize what's going on maybe back off the throttle a little bit at the same time same motorcycle you can take an experienced rider that has a decade of riding behind him you put me on this thing and i am in heaven I have a smooth power delivery. I can feel, I feel like I'm in full control of this motorcycle at all times. It makes me feel comfortable to like do more fun stuff like wheelies and maybe riding a little more aggressively than I otherwise would because it's so light. One of the cool thing I noticed about this bike is never before can I just be in anywhere in the rev range in second gear and pop it up. Like <laughs> I've noticed that most bikes when I get comfortable doing wheelies, it's always at a certain RPM, going a certain speed, and everything's the same. But I've noticed with the MT-07, I can be anywhere in second gear, and I'm like, I'll, I can pop it up. I can do whatever I want. I'm happy about it. Something interesting I've, I've noticed, because, you know, you guys know, I don't, I'm not a professional. I'm just kind of like the average guy riding around on a, on a bike. So when I can wheelie that easily, it gives me hope that you guys could just get on these, and if you want to learn to wheelie, then... You know what I mean? Just a little bit of pop. A little bit of pop. I love the, it has enough power too, to if you suck at wheelies like I do, it's got enough power to chase it out a little bit and get you learning how to do it. I've never had more fun doing wheelies on a bike than on the MT-07, ever. <laughs> now suck at them. So imagine what you could do if you're actually good at it. Imagine the potential one could have. It's kind of hard to ride this thing around like an actual person. It's hard to just ride. You just want to... All the time. All the time, all the time. Every every moment. I, I need to get this back to Yamaha before I get a ticket on it. That's my new personal goal. And you know, guys, I could sit here and talk to you guys all about like how I feel about the bike. And I'm going to continue doing that. But something i want to use as an example because i do realize a lot of people are probably going to look at this mt07 and think like oh man i don't want to start out on something like that or i don't want to get that bike because i'm going to get bored of it after you know a year i think that's kind of an an early rider mentality that you're going to get bored of a motorcycle entirely predicated on the size engine it is i would like to if i may use an example of a buddy i have uh, Jake the Garden Snake. I'll have a link for his channel in the description. Jake has had an MT-07 for as long as I can remember. He's been riding longer than I have. From what I understand, he absolutely loves that bike. Now, ideally, he'll comment on this video, and if he does, I'll pin it down below. I would be willing to bet you Jake loves the shit out of this motorcycle for the exact reason that I'm telling you guys. The engine is fun and peppy, and it, it, it fits in a great spot as far as power and weight. You can always get a bigger motorcycle for a bigger engine. And I'll tell you guys, you know, I'm sure every motorcyclist goes through that period of time where like, oh man, I want a fast engine so I can go fast in a straight line. And that's fine. If, that, if that's all you want to do, then power to you. Go buy a Ninja H2 and just go ride on the highways every now and then. If you're a person like me and you think that, you know, that you go through that and you you ride in a straight line real fast and you're like cool that's what 180 feels like great awesome i know what that feels like now and once you've done that you're good then i think the the tendency for uh, more experienced riders is you're going to start trickling back and you're going to start having a more mature thought process on what a motorcycle what do you want out of a motorcycle i personally like a little more weight and with weight comes power, which is why I kind of settle myself on the MT-10. Uh, I think the MT-10 is a far better motorcycle for what I want it for. I, I think that's why this bike sells so well for Yamaha, because it fits so many, you know, tick boxes for something that somebody's looking for in, in a really well-rounded motorcycle. That's another reason, coming back to this whole like MT-07 R7 thing, 
That's why I think the R7 is going to do so good. And guys, we're going to pull into our coned off church parking lot, take a look and walk around this motorcycle because this is the new year model. It's a totally new look for this year. I think it's kind of polarizing as a ton of the MT bikes are. There's a ton of kids over here, so I'm going to try not to disturb what they have going on. All right, guys, let's check out 2021 MT-07. Clearly, we have the Yamaha Racing Blue, but that headlight's the new thing, guys. Check that thing out. Now, I'll tell you guys, I was not sold on this at first, but when you see it on, you can't really see because it it's bright sun right now, with these daylight running lights on, and then this is obviously the high beam. We can uh, toggle that if I do it correctly. On. So that's running. This is up. And then it's high beam, right? Ever since I saw this thing on, the daylight running lights I absolutely love. I do realize it's a pretty polarizing motorcycle, though. You know, some people are going to like it. Some people are not. I love it. I love the blacked out everything with a slightly gray engine. I think this would be a beautiful bike to get, you know, some SC project there on the bottom just to darken that whole area out. I think it would look sick. Um, I do. I'm not a huge fan of the tail. Shocker. Uh, and when I, when I say tail, I mean this area, not the actual tail light. I think the tail light has a pretty cool look. Tail tidy, super necessary on this bike i do kind of wish that yamaha would have done their swing arm uh fender i wish more motorcycle brands would do that yamaha i think you uh you guys i think you guys should move in that direction personal opinion don't have to care so yeah guys that's the mt07 one of the really cool things if you're doing general maintenance like not your big deal jobs but general maintenance look how much access you have to so many things without taking anything off you can literally see the top of your engine right there and you can leave your gas tank on uh before we head out of here i'm gonna grab my phone we're gonna take a photo for instagram all right photo town so yeah if you guys aren't following us on instagram we are at c2 dub picks boom that'll be on instagram if you guys go over there and follow us make sure to hit that uh double tap on that like the photo and let us know uh let me let us know what you think about the look of the bike we always post first ride photos of all the bikes we do first rides on we also do some other behind the scenes stuff over on instagram so we would love to have you guys on there you guys aren't here to hear me pitch instagram for you you're here to talk about the motorcycle you know when i was doing the walk around the bike uh i was sitting there thinking i looked at the uh, front suspension and that made me think I wonder if the suspension is what is making the bike feel a little, not greatly planted in a turn. Low speed doesn't really matter, but you know, high up, like doing the big turn, it just, it didn't feel amazing. And I would really want it to feel amazing. So I wonder if that has something to do with it. Cause I'm sure that Yamaha is using a more budget suspension for this bike. I'm not mad about that. I don't expect every motorcycle to have a full set of Olins I, I more appreciate giving the rider the best bang for their buck because motorcycles are expensive, dude. And uh, suspension, granted, it's extremely important. People can't afford to have Olins on their bike. So am I mad about it? No, not at all. I'm just wondering if that's what's causing it because if that's causing it, then the solution's easy. Uh, all you gotta do is get a, upgrade the suspension if you buy it. So if you bought the bike, and you were not a fan of the suspension, then just upgrade the suspension, my guy. It's it's two clamps right there. Take them off, get better ones. Which makes the bike really nice to be able to grow into. You know, if you bought this as your first bike, you ride it around, you get a really good sense of what the bike is, how you like riding it, and then you modify it to where, you know, where you want to ride it to. Jake's over here making his MT-07 into a damn Tenere adventure bike. That's one of the cool things that I was talking about earlier the options for what you want to do with these bikes because they're so popular there's infinite amount of things you can buy to make the bike exactly like you want and i personally love doing that i imagine a load of you guys do as well you know riding is such a personal thing we always want to like make the bikes more personal to us so the more popular a bike is the more options you're going to have for that i don't think i've touched on the brakes yet of the motorcycle and if, if I was to give the brakes a grade, you know, the brakes are somewhere where I do feel like they're, the bike's kind of middle of the road. I don't think they're phenomenal. I don't think they're bad at all. Uh, I, having ridden a ton of motorcycles, there are some brakes that are phenomenal. And, you know, I feel like you just got to give these a good squeeze before you really get stopped. 
it's no big deal breaker on as far as their their power or whatever and they they honestly might be good for a, a new rider because they they aren't that crazy strong like they're not strong enough to just use one finger like you i don't have enough strength in one finger to stop this motorcycle full on maybe i need to do finger gymnastics or something to make my, <laughs> my fingers stronger but uh i think a, a new rider is going to be totally fine with the brakes i do feel like a new rider would be totally happy with them uh, if you're a more advanced rider then you know maybe you want to look at getting some different pads or something like that you know maybe that'll that'll help you enjoy this bike longer but anyways guys that's about all i got I, I feel like this is probably one of the best middleweight motorcycles out right now i absolutely love it and i've been riding for 10 years so you can uh you can take that for what you will uh, before we get out of here i do want to give a shout out to my buddies over at yamaha for letting us loan this bike out we're gonna have this bike for a hot minute so we're gonna be making tons of content on it i think there's there's so many videos that can be made with this thing because it's such a good bike and fits so many uh, so many spots in the market. I uh, also got to give a shout out to my guys over at Mountain Motorsports. They let me loan the rest of the bikes I ride on, and that's where we started. So shout out to those guys as well. Info for everything is in the comments down below. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. I really appreciate you guys riding around with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us out a ton. And uh, if you're interested in motorcycle content, we are going to be making tons of it, especially on the MT-07. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to ring that bell so you actually get notified because otherwise, who the hell knows? Even if you actually hit the bell, who knows if uh, if Yamaha, if uh, YouTube will let you guys know. That's it for me, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs> Outro crew. Bruh. This bike is so good. Do you guys care about wheelies, Outro crew? It are, is wheeling is a bike that's easier to wheelie does it perk your interest more than a motorcycle that might be a little more complicated to wheelie where do you guys value that you know as, as personally i'm curious am i just a child and love wheeling or is that with a lot of people make sure to put oc in your comment guys i'm chasing on two wheels i love you guys longer and i'll see you on the next one later